Hey, it's Kelsey from roughandtumblefarmhouse.com and today we are just going to do a Friday farm report, talk a little bit about what we got up to on the farm this week. So the most exciting thing this week was definitely the birth of our twin goat girls. Hey mama, hey girls, hello. So it's pretty chilly today. Unfortunately, we're gonna have one little last cold snap, I think, here. It's only getting into the high 40s today, so we're kind of hoping they stay close to home here. We've had them in our little mini goat barn here that we have set up. It's the best kind of draft, well, relatively draft-free, warmest place we have. So this is Grace, our mama goat, and our little sweet babies getting a little mid-morning snack. We decided to name the girls Honeybee and Sweet Pea. So the little one on the right, that is our honeybee. And then on the left is our little Sweet Pea. So we're pretty excited that they're happy and healthy and seem to be doing doing pretty well. But we've had them closed up at night uh, just for sure to help with the cold temperatures. It got down to about mid-20s last night. It's supposed to be pretty much the same tonight. So we'll just kind of keep an eye on them here today and make sure that this kind of chilly weather today and breezy weather isn't too cold for them. And if it is, we'll just kind of have them stay in the little, their little shed area. See you later, girls. See you later. She's such a good mama. So the next thing that we got done this week or almost done is our little garden. Our current garden is in a really shady spot with pine trees. So we built some raised beds and got them just about, just about set up here. So we'll take a look at that. So here are our raised beds all set up. They turned out okay. The raised bed plans that I used came from Farmhouse on Boo and they just used cedar fence pickets and that's all we did too because it was pretty affordable to make for each bed. So my first one, I think is this one maybe here in the corner, turned out kind of ugly because it was the first attempt. So that one I'm kind of considering like my first pancake. And then here we just have some woven or some net fencing around it. It's not hot right now, but it should hopefully keep our chickens out. So far it seems to be doing a pretty good job of, of keeping them out. So we still need to fill the garden beds with some topsoil a little bit. We just have them filled with compost right now that came out of our animal shelter. We have a guy who comes once a year, cleans out our animal shelter the skid steer because the skid steer is a little bit out of our budget. And so we just had him when he came and cleaned it out, took some compost from last year and, and threw, it in our, <laughs> threw it in our new beds. Not much to report on the pig front. We do know that our guilt wasn't bred. The first heat cycle we had the boar in with her because she came into heat again about a week ago. There's corduroy. He's definitely, he's grown a lot since he's been here. I think he's probably put on at least 30 pounds and he's looking nice and healthy. Where he lived before, he was definitely the low man on the totem pole. So he seems to be doing a lot better now that he's here and now that he's able to get as much food as he needs to and that sort of thing. So corduroy, get out of here now. Get out of here. Get out of here, handsome boy. There's really not much to report on the chicken front. Our little chicks, we'd like to move them out into the chicken coop, but it's just so darn cold. We're probably gonna keep them in the house at least for tonight, and then we'll move them out tomorrow just because it's, again, gonna be down in those low 20s, and I just prefer that they were a little bigger before they deal with those sort of temperatures. In terms of the other livestock, again, nothing to report. Our cows, unfortunately, neither of our jerseys was successfully AI'd last fall. I think that our main mama jersey, she was probably pregnant and may have miscarried or something because I was paying attention and, and she usually has really predictable heat cycles and she just never came back into heat. So there's the crew out there hanging out lazy in the sun and we will have on the left giving himself a little scratch there that's blue he's was unfortunately born a boy so he'll be for beef this fall so we'll be sending him over to a friend's house so he can graze for the summer and hang out he'll live with with their sheep for the summer and then we'll butchered in the fall. Chickens are out maybe you can see scratching around the woods Goats are just kind of hanging out doing a little bit of grazing. Over here by the chicken coop, we do have some nettle that have come up and are looking really darn good. So probably sometime next week, I'm gonna come harvest some nettle that we will dry for tea and also make a really good nettle pesto. One other thing really to report on at the farm this time of year is our grass situation. We are pretty much constantly waiting for the grass to get long and be grazable. So I'll walk over here and we can take a look at our pasture and the situation it's in. We'll go by my husband's geese that are over here. And they, man, they eat a lot of grass. They go through a lot of, we have to move them every two, three days or so because they start to kind of trample down the lawn pretty well. They do lay eggs, we get a couple of eggs from them, but they, they're more pets than anything. So here's our main pasture up front. The grass is definitely 
recovering. We had to graze this a little bit late last year, so some of this is a little bit short on this end because we sort of grazed this in strips. And you can see too where we did some round bale grazing out there just to try and get some more organic matter out there in this, this field. You can see that the grass is looking better. Well, maybe you can see the grass is looking a little bit better further out in the pasture. So I'd say as long as we get some decent rain and some warm weather, that probably in the next two weeks or so we can finally get our herd out here eating that yummy green grass. And the geese have come to see what I am doing. Two of them are pretty friendly. Two of them are just nasty mean. So the one that's friendly is that white one that doesn't have the gray and then the one behind her that has the bad wing. Ba bad wing one's named Lefty and the other one, yeah, I don't think so, Chuckles. You can just stay in there, thanks. And the other one's name I think might be Tina, the nice one, the white one over there. I don't know. Like I said, they're my husband's pets. I do appreciate with geese that they kind of have this attitude where they just don't give uh, a rat's bottom <laughs> what, what you want or what you think they're going to do what they're going to do. And I definitely admire that sort of attitude, especially from something that's kind of small. I appreciate their tenacity and their, their fierceness. That's about all there is to report here from the farm. So we'll check back in next week. Some plans are to get those raised beds filled and planted next week so we can do kind of a garden update about a week from now. So thanks for watching. Always tune in here at our channel for more farming, family, food, and fortitude here at our rough and tumble farmhouse. Mm -hmm.